What's up everybody? Alright, so welcome to the garage of lots of bike stuff. So today is just about all the gear that I use, used to use, and sometimes use. Pretty simple day, just chilling in the garage, a little hot. So, I guess to start off is my first helmet. This helmet right here was my first helmet. It's a built racer helmet. Nothing too special. It's a cheap built helmet. I mean, what more could you ask for? Then these gloves were, it was like a pair with the racer because these are the racer gloves from built. Gloves were pretty good. Yeah, gloves were not too bad. I mean, they held up. A little tight, a little small. The knuckles on these, the protective knuckles, were like engraving into your knuckles on your hand and it didn't feel too good. But as for the helmet too, the helmet, it served its purpose as a helmet, but it did have lots of wind noise since it was a cheaper helmet, but I couldn't complain. I wasn't ready to spend hundreds of dollars on a helmet since it was just me starting off, so it wasn't a big deal. And I have my GoPro mount off to the side, and then I run it across and up on this helmet. And then for the Cena that I got for it was a Cena SMH-10R. It's a very good Cena, but the only problem that I noticed, or actually it occurred, is if you can see that, the wire actually disconnected, or like frayed, because it was on the back of the helmet right here. And it kind of got hit, not hit, but setting it down, like on the, anywhere you set it down, the wire hits it just at the right spot. And it's not just this one, a couple of other people have noticed this too. It just frays at this one spot after a couple, but it's just the battery. It's a separate battery, so not a big deal. I'm just gonna pick up a new one so I can put it in a secondary helmet. Batteries are only like $30 for it, no big deal. So that was like my first setup. Oh, forgot the first GoPro too. So this is a GoPro that I used for my first mode vlogs and everything. Hero 3 White. It served its purpose, but the quality was slowly dying since that right now, I think I've had it for about five and a half years. So it still works, but I don't use it as much. Right now I'm using the Hero 4 Silver. When I got that, a couple months later, I picked up a secondary built helmet because I needed a passenger helmet because I needed to take someone, uh, took a couple people on it too, so. Need an extra helmet. I didn't want to spend another one, so I just got a built Fusion. It was like one step up more than the built Racer. And it is actually a really good helmet, I have to say. The wind noise is a lot better in the sense of that it doesn't have lots of wind noise so i did the same setup for the gopro off to the side and then run a couple of gopro mounts there and then rise up so that worked pretty good that helmet was good i didn't have any cena on that because i only had that cena when i start off so i only had it there i mount it with a velcro right there so that was my passenger helmet pretty much i didn't really wear it too much i also got the Sidichi gloves after I upgraded sort of and these gloves were really good the gauntlets uh forgot the exact name I'll put that in just all, all these items will be in the description links to it if they're still available I don't know if any of these got discontinued this one might be a little hard to find don't know if they still set on Amazon or anything but I'm sure it's on eBay but these gloves had a rough life, as you can tell. Lots of holes in them, in both gloves, not just that one. It's just where your palm hits, right there. I have to say, these gloves were actually pretty good for the price. It's like Cycle Gear's like higher brand of built, it's like the fancy brand of built. But it held up really nice. They look really good, but I've had the I had those for about probably five months and in a like this so I need new gloves. <laughs> but that was like my second pair of gloves. They lasted for a good bit. And I don't know if you can hear my dog barking. He just loves to bark everywhere. Um and then now oh forgot going over to the jacket. This is my first jacket that I got with my first setup in my first vlogs and I still use this jacket actually 
I forgot that exact name. I'll put it in the video. But it's the Alpine Stars jacket. Um, just the white, red, black mesh jacket. Also came with a liner. I took that out because this is my summer jacket. Really nice jacket. I think I paid 300 for this jacket. Really good. Breathability is awesome. Very lightweight. But yeah, love that jacket, still do. So now we're on to the present of what things I use now. So right now, right now I'm filming on the Hero 4 Silver. I love this camera. I didn't go with the black because I wasn't shooting in 4K. I didn't need to, nor did I need, need a 1080 at 120 frames. 60 was fine. All I really wanted was a super view. Plus the LCD screen helps a lot. You'll be surprised. Initially I didn't want it, but I like it actually. But yeah, that is a Hero 4 Silver. I like it a lot. Definitely recommend for mobile vlogging. So my secondary camera that I use now, sometimes I put on my bike, sometimes I don't, was the Hero 4 Session. And this camera is really good for the buck. $200 gets you a really good camera at 1080, 60 frames. Also, it shoots super view, but at 48 frames. It's a good secondary camera to have, especially for MOA vloggers. If you're looking for a secondary camera, either this one or the new, because this was, I got that before the new Heroes came out, the cheaper ones, like $130 ones. Those are actually really good. And then as for shooting high quality photos, I use a Canon Rebel T5 EOS, really good camera, let me tell you that. Also picked up a huge lens for it too, it's a, I think it was 75mm to 300mm, and that is really nice. The quality on that is incredible. I don't use it too much because I don't typically bring it with me, because I don't like bringing things that are really expensive with me. If I don't have to, unless I know I'm just going to a photo shoot and that's it. And I'm not planning on riding long distances. And then my favorite right now is this helmet. This helmet is what I currently use. It's an AGV K3 SV Myth. The Myth is the color of it. Yeah, so far when I upgraded to the AGV, this helmet was really awesome. The wind noise, the pads, the pads are super comfy. This is really good. Actually, if I was told this before I got the built helmet, so any new riders and stuff, pick an AGV K3. Any of the K3s are awesome. Or any AGV, actually. All of them are really good. For $200, you can't really beat that price for an AGV that's really good. A lightweight too. Also with this one, I also use a Sina. I have two Sinas. This one's not working, of course. But this one that I'm using right now is the Sina 10S. And the quality, I would never thought of it, but with speakers and everything, I don't know if you can see that inside, but the speaker in there is really good. The quality is HD, very clear, easy to understand. Yes, it doesn't. It's not as low profile as the SMH10R, but it doesn't have all these, like the battery wires and stuff. You literally, it's just one little wire that goes into your helmet and then it spreads out. It's like three or four wires for the speakers, the mic, and the batteries in here. Nice thing about this is the unit itself is removable. And that's the one thing that I like, easy charging cable it's just a micro USB that any like phone uses but yeah I, I love the 10s over there good bang for the buck picked up pretty much a lot of my things I picked up from Psycho Gear or ordered it and then also from Revzilla um, moving on to my jacket I don't really use this one too much because it's always hot here in Texas this is a full leather icon jacket it's the icon hypersport prime in the red this jacket's awesome. I wish I could wear it more, but I just get way too hot in it. But it's really good for winter when it actually hits. I don't know when it's going to hit this year, but, but um, this jacket blocks a lot of wind and everything. So 
if you're wearing like a jacket or just a t-shirt under this and it's about 40 or 30 degrees out, you'll feel really comfortable riding. So I love that jacket. Just wish I could wear it more without dying out. That's why I just usually wear that. If you want a leather jacket, it's a little bit on the higher price side, but I don't think too many leather jackets are cheap. So take it as you want. Going on to why I used to carry things. In just general, I have this always with me. It's the OGO Mach 5 backpack, no drag. This backpack is the best investment that I've ever had. It comes with a lifetime warranty, which is really nice because I had to use that because the zipper broke after a little bit, but that was after like a year of constant use for school. It can carry a lot of things. I've carried a gallon of milk, a lot of groceries in there. I mean, it holds a lot for a backpack. For the price, it's a little high, but there's really nothing out there to me that I would want to get from Mars Hour because it doesn't have any drag. You do not feel it when it's on you. I recommend that backpack for any rider, beginner, if you're worried about storage space on any bike, no matter what it is. It's just nice to have that. Going on to the boots that I use. These are the TCX X Square boots. They're like around mid-grade, they're really good. I like them very comfortable. They just go barely over your ankle. So it's still protective, has really good sturdiness, and just feels very solid. Has toe sliders on each side. It's laced up, but also has Velcro, so when you have lace up, you just scrunch it down and then you're good to go. TCX square boots are really good boots for the price. It can't really beat the price. I think I paid around $110 for those. I used to have a built pair of shoes, but those did not last. So I'm not even gonna show those. I don't really recommend them. So I recommend the TCX or anything above that. Alpine Stars make great boots. They're around $270 uh, or 200, depends where you find them. But those, those boots I use now and I love them. They're very comfortable walking. I use them for walking around too. Whenever I'm on a bike, I walk around and stuff after I get off, like going to work or something. I use those and I don't really hurt after. And just for riding pants, if I'm not going to work or anything, I just use a generic pair of jeans, black jeans, wherever you want. But pretty much all my stuff is black and red <laughs> to match. And it's pretty awesome. I mean, you can never have enough black and red. Oh, I forgot about these. <laughs> Whoops. The Icon gloves, these are my gloves that I currently use. They're the Icon, I think, Resistance thing it is. Not sure, I'm pretty sure it is the Resistant gloves in red. And these are awesome, they're very comfy. The only problem that I have with them, they turn your palms red after a little bit if you sweat. There's no really if, it's when you sweat, how much you sweat, especially in Texas. I love these gloves. All my gear right now, I'm pretty happy with. Don't really want to upgrade anything right now. I mean, maybe my next upgrade is to actually get some true riding pants with like Kevlar or something in them. So a little bit more protection there, but, but yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this video of me just going over my gear. I know it's nothing exciting, it's just me talking about my gear, but got requested so I here and make a video and hope you all enjoy your day. And I will see y'all in the next one.